Today is an amazing day for anyone that used a sonar for a long time. We finally have a formula custom field. We will be able to have a computed field based on other fields. Right now, this is only the basic version I'm going to show you, but we know that an advanced version is coming soon. I can't give you a lot of details. I'm not sure I'm allowed to, uh, but I'll let you know that this is coming uh, very soon. Let's work on an example. Let's say you are an agency and you work on a couple of missions that you actually delegate to uh, freelancers. They have, they spend uh, different times on missions. They have a different um, unit cost per day and you actually want a column to show uh, how much it costs you to work with that person. So let's say you have this project, you have mission one, mission two, mission three. First, you wanna add other columns. So I'm going to add a column called time spent. I'm going to use a number field. And as you can see, I always like to do this, which is customize the label. Uh, so this is going to be hours. Just so you know, the uh, current basic formula field doesn't work well with um, time spent, the actual time native time spent. It does work, but you have to consider that this is actually using minutes. Uh, instead of hour or days. So if you put, for example, two hours, it's gonna count it as 120 minutes. So you have to keep that in mind. For now, I'm gonna use a number field. Custom label, hours, uh, no decimals. Here we go. Then I'm gonna add a daily cost. Actually, hourly, hourly rate, that's much better. Hourly rate, that's a number, and we're gonna be looking at US dollars without decimals. Okay, so the mission one was actually done by me. I'm actually quite expensive. Uh, for this mission, I was charging $300 an hour and I spent three hours on it. And then we had Michelle, she's charging a little bit less and she worked a bit more. And finally, we have Dustin. Dustin, that's uh, Asana CEO's. He's actually charging $2,000 an hour, um, 2,000. And he spent, one hour. Up until today, there was no way to have a column with the actual uh, formula between the two. And this has changed with the new custom field. So you go into customize, you go into add custom field, and then you have a new option, formula. I'm gonna name this total. The current version of the editor is this one. You have one field, an operator, and another field. You can't have much more than this. The operators that you have are those four ones. We already know that the advanced editor that's coming will potentially allow you to actually write an actual formula with parentheses and stuff like this. Uh, for now, you only have you can only play with this. So I'm gonna use uh, the time spent. I'm gonna use the hourly rate and I'm gonna make a multiply, create field. So it's computing the values and ta-da, you get exactly the number you expect. Uh, so you're gonna be able to go crazy with this. You're gonna be able to add them everywhere that you like. Um, before using this everywhere, make sure to try, make sure that it covers what you need in terms of reporting, in terms of search, in terms of dashboards, because sometimes when Asana releases a new field, you might discover down the road that this is not yet available in some uh, areas. Uh, so I'm going to encourage you to really have a look and make sure it does cover everything that you need. And then, yeah, it's a, it's a perfect uh, new addition to whatever was uh, existing uh, before. Just so you know, at iDo, we do have the ability to also do a computed field with a much more um, rules and constraints. You can give us exceptions, you can give us conditions, we can really do something very deep if you want to. But for now, if you only have like a very specific use case, that's gonna be amazing. Have a good day and let me know in the comments what you think.